They're a little blonde up there. It's panning for gold. This is where the road used to cross and drive. The road zigzagged back and forth. You go to the bridge nowhere. Flood of 38 took it out. Okay, my first time I'm gonna go for is the Tenkara. Streamline fly fishing, Japanese type fly rod. No reel. Just the line and the pole. It's a telescopic and there are no eyes. It just attaches to that, the end. it just attaches. There's a uh, knot in the end of the line, it just attaches it around with an easy slip knot. You've got about 12 feet of line, about 9 feet of line, 3 feet of leader, and as usual, Here's I got here. my jam uh, camera, army cook set, trekking poles, all the usual gear. Here's a chunk of the road that's left. It, it, it exists here and there in a few places. This is the one that the flood took out, flood of 38. See, there's the road, look at this. The road used to ride level all along this. And now, it's gone. The whole hill is gone. The road went all the way around. That hill is just gone. I'm on another stretch of the road. And you know what that means? I'm on a road to nowhere. Yeah! <laughs> See that? There's a miners. Watch this. I got through the bushes. Wait. Full wetsuit. The river is incredibly low. I've not seen it this low in eight, nine years maybe. There's one little spot up there. Anyway, see that mountain there in the center screen? Where that comes down to the right and back of this? From there I got about a quarter mile to the bridge to nowhere. Down there. This one has to go down. This whole area here is gone. Picks up over there. So I gotta hit the bottom somehow. Hopefully I don't hit it hard. I actually made it down that. With this in hand, all this on, and a full pack. <laughs> I actually made it. Check this out, guys. Look at him. Cool, huh? Yee. <laughs> Look at that. They got hairs. They'll, they'll put out. Uh. Woo! <laughs> Get off. Get away from me. <laughs> Get away from me. Look at those fangs. Uh, look at that tarantula. Uh, well, just saw a little wildlife, <clears throat> but if you notice in this area, there are no trees to tie up to, so I might end up using the Hennessy on the ground as a tent. I don't know. I hope not. I'm hoping to go over there. See that gulch? Where that comes down. Try to find me a couple trees in there. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Got this uh, bridge coming up. It's called the Bridge to Nowhere. It's a famous bridge. Um, it goes nowhere. Uh, in Backpacker Magazine, this month, Backpacker Magazine here in the States, there's a article about hikes in the area, and this is on there. Bridge Nowhere's on there, Ice House Canyon's on there, and the Baldy, all those Baldy hikes that I do, they're all on there. So this is one of them. 
uh, they had a road that used to come back here that was going to go all the way to Wrightwood. But um, Flat of 38 took it out. Now this tunnel did go straight through this mountain. Right there, that slide, that's collapsed. That mountain's hollow. From the other side, guys have dug in there. Since then, it slid down. They dig back, it slid down, they dig back. Now there's just a two-foot round wormhole going down in. And people have gone in there. You can see trash down there. It's like, they're crazy for going down in there. If you were in there and something happened, there'd be no way anybody would know, ever. You just vanish off the face of the earth. They'd never, ever find you. Right here. I used to cannonball off here. Then I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> Last time I came down here, the trail ran right along here. Look at how much things change in such a short time. Stuff just slides. Just this canyon's constantly changing. Yeah, this is where the tunnel and they blasted through. Now there's an old Boy Scout camp over here in the backside. There's a fire pit and um, there might be some trees I can use. There it is. Boy Scout Camp 101. That's where I'll be staying tonight. I just gotta find a way down and around. Raccoons. Or a raccoon. Now there's one tree. How am I going to do this hammock hang? Uh, let's see. I might be able to go from that branch to that branch, but I don't think it's strong enough. I'm going to try to rig something up with these logs. Try. Use that tree and these logs somehow. Here's what I've come up with. <sighs> I'm hoping it holds. Let's see. I only had one place to hang the hammock, one tr one tree. So, stacked up some rocks, put one log that way, another log that way, tied it. With my weight, I'll be like three inches off the ground. I might even be on the ground in the morning. I don't know, but it's the, it's the best I can do where I am. Yeah. As you guys all know, no matter where you go, you can find other people's trash stuff they left behind well this grill was left behind I found it right over there on the edge someone in propped it up I brought a couple of tilapia fillets because back here the, the river is so low I wouldn't want to it's catch and release anyway I wouldn't want to keep any of the trout the population is probably so stunted right now so low with the low water um, all the miners building dams the fish can't uh, breed properly so I, I brought my own fish so I, I kind of cheated uh, Paul but you can understand why um, catch and release I don't want to damage the uh, ecosystem out here any more than it already is it is pitch black back here man pitch black you can see nothing there's this the light you gave me one of them my hammocks there Ooh. Fort Niven, day one. Ooh, this one's done. That one's just about done. Mm -hmm. So I'm inside the Hennessy. I brought my 15, but I'm laying on top of it. I'm in my clothes. I'm not even cold yet, maybe tonight. I think early morning I'll get cold, but for now I'm just gonna lay on top. I didn't put any tarp up. 
I don't think you'll be able to see the trash show you. Hey guys, check this out. <laughs> And go for it. I've got a full canteen for the way out of here. If I boil this, it's good for my coffee. Well, here you are, Paul. <laughs> the last part of your request. I will catch some trout on the way out of here, hopefully. Like I said, I'm gonna catch and release. <laughs> I just got my cook set set over, and since the top's dirty, it's been on the ground. Put some foil on it, perhaps some spam. Copy, spam, and get out of here. I displaced the majority of the logs, some of those rocks. Some of those rocks are a couple hundred pounds. I did leave the campfire. That was there before I got here. But uh, think of all the hundreds maybe thousands of kids, troops, that have been here singing songs by this campfire Boy Scout troops singing songs by this campfire having laughs, playing games learning things, whittling think of all the energy that was put out in this area and how lonely this area is now <laughs> so, I mean, this place is here, you guys look, you're right next to a river before I knew this place was here, I camped, in one of my videos, I camped with my Eureka Zeus 2 down there on the beach. And I fished that area in the morning. Caught a couple of trout. Not too big on spam. <laughs> but I'm meeting Paul's request. Okay, it's ready for you guys. I'm headed back. Stumble, you might fall. Look at this nice little spot I stumbled upon. I'm gonna try some fly fishing here, I think. Take this guy out. <laughs> <laughs> Little baby rainbow. Baby rainbow. Well, at least I didn't get skunked. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> I just passed by some more miners that I know. They said, hey, you didn't happen to see some hot chick back there about 20 years old, reddish brown hair? I said, yeah, she's camping back there. He goes, oh, is she camping back there with you? I said, no, she's by herself. He's like, man, you gotta give her kudos. <laughs> he goes, I know a lot of guys that won't come back here by themselves. He goes, I don't like coming back here by myself. It's kind of spooky. He's like, where'd she camp? I said, right on the beach. About a mile and a half up river. He goes, oh man. <laughs> it, it is surprising, you know. Well, it was definitely the same guy. And I told him, hey man, you better watch it. You got five or six miners up here and you got a single woman she'll freak 
she sees that naked guy walking through here. I don't know. It was the same guy though. You can't. I couldn't mistake the face. It looks it just like John Denver. Anyway, he goes, "Hey, you're one of those fishermen that I met over there in Bear." I said, "Yeah." He goes, "Yeah, I recognize the hat." <laughs> Watch this guy come up here. I'll tell him. You saw that guy? Yes, I did. <laughs> He's cool. <laughs> Naked, you know, just shoes in the backpack, huh? <laughs> but uh, he has a like skirt, short. But now, now he has no skirt. Now, it, no? nothing. Well, when, when I saw him, uh, how far back there did you see him? Um, it's like um, one mile. One mile? We're almost yeah. at the beginning, so it's crazy. When he gets up there, there's four or five miners and there's a single woman. So the woman, she's going to scream. Oh. But his face, he looked like the singer John Denver, you know? Yes. What's your name? I'm Hiro. Hiro? Yes. Oh, you fly fish? Uh, you? not today. But I've seen you fly fish before here, huh? Uh, no. no I think no, so. Not here, the no? different place. But today, I just check in the point and come back next week. This is the okay. first time you saw that man, right? Yes. <laughs> and naked, only shoes and backpack. backpack. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay. Right, see see you. you, man. Nice to meet you. <laughs> see, at least now you believe me. Now you saw proof. <laughs> the guy come through here. It's the same guy. Um, he's got like too many teeth for his mouth. So he, when he opens, when he smiles, it just it's all teeth. And his face and hair. He looks like John Denver in the later years. Yeah, but he came through here. <laughs> what the hell is this, man? <laughs> I gotta throw this in there. With your naked ass, I saw you. <laughs> and a river runs through. <laughs> Never fails to amaze me. Yeah, that guy, Hero. I met him, oh, fly fishing. I forget where. Mm. Oh, let's see. Hero. I think it was on the North Fork. Probably about a year ago. Yeah, yeah. I met that guy. He saw my Tinku arrive first time. He said, oh, he saw these on the internet, but he never saw one in real life. He's like, it's cool. <laughs> Look at that, there's trout rising down there. There's really no way down. You can see them, watch. You can see next to a log. Keep your eye on that area. Right in that area. Oh, there. I can even see the actual trout that did it. Let's see. There's that rock. There's the trout, center of the screen. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Nice size one. Eight, 10 inch or maybe. Eyes of an eagle. <laughs> Look at how light they make. Family tents nowadays. Whole tent probably weighs. 15 pounds. I remember my mom and dad used to take us cabin, take us camping, my brother and I. We had a big tent. It was made by Coleman. Big canvas tent. That thing probably weighed a good 30, 40 pounds. Then you had all the poles. And then for the stakes, we had to, actually, my brother and I rode our bikes down to the railroad tracks and we got old railroad, tie, uh, sp railroad stakes and those are our spikes. My dad worked at a plating company and he plated them all like a, not real silver, but a silver color. They're easy to find. Man, that brings back memories. Some of the greatest years of my life. I was camping with my mom and dad. We used to go out to Lake Elsinore, Lake Paris. But Elsinore, a long time ago, before it was polluted, we're talking mid 70s 
Elsinore. We'd go there, we'd rent a rowboat, we'd row out, 12 foot wooden rowboat, and we'd row out there, and we'd fish for bass and catfish. We'd pull in catfish, foot long, easy, but I mean, some two feet long. Nice channel catfish. Bring them back, fry them up right there at the camp. It was so great. My brother and I would be off wandering around um, looking for, remember Lucky Beer? Well, an old beer. Lucky had bottles, bottle caps. Under the bottle cap, there was a clue. We'd pick up these caps all over the place and come back and figure out the clues. Somewhere, I believe I still have that collection of bottle caps. Okay, guys. It's been nice visiting my old, my old stomping grounds. I'll see you guys in the next one.